What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Teamer Cube Draft number three. I'm still selling a Sliv Sliv Drazi, Sliv Drazi monstrosity. If you guys are interested, um, training grounds, misty rainforests, and a processor. So be sure to check those out. If you guys mess, you should message me. Message me on Facebook or Twitter if you guys are interested in those things, and we can we can chat about them. Or you can just email me at frank at <clears throat> franklabord.com. And uh, that's an easy way to get in touch, too. And I can ship these cards out to you. So. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs> oh, just kidding. I will pause this, though, because this is taking a while. All right, we fired. Is Urza good? Oh, and we got Metal Worker. I kind of want a Metal Worker. I want to work some metal. Hunter is my second most used emote of 2020. That's hilarious. Should we just take Tree Speaker and force Mono Green? Is that what you want to do? Hmm. I mean, I'm really surprised you're not telling me to take Urza or Metalworker. I'm trying to break the mold. God, I really like Metalworker a lot. I like Urza a lot too. Urza's a bananas though. Which one? Metalworker or Urza? Or the tree speaker? God, this is so hard, man. Alright, I'm taking Urza. Urza too strong. Oh, we did it. Oh, we're doing it. This is the dream. I don't think Metalworker's gonna wheel at all, but we're taking Tinker's second pick, boy. This is like a vintage cube level fiasco that we're having right now. Uh, impulse is good. No artifacts in here. Could take Locust God. We could embrace the green mage. Are you a blue collar worker or a white collar worker? I think white collar. Is this like a personality test? Or Dan's is finishing a score right now. That's that's so cool. I'm gonna take impulse. Yeah, there's no reason to go into another color based on that pack. So. You have to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to run. That's my, that was my version of that song. No stream mining for you. No, no, I'm not a. It's been like a year since I've been around. Why, Johnny? Why? Why, Johnny? Sacrifice a Scarecrow draw a card. Return an artifact from your graveyard to the battlefield. I think it's just Flash Freeze again. I think Flash Freeze is just really good. I mean, it wrecked us when we didn't count the Consecrated Sphinx, but I think in general. Twitch Lung? Well, that's okay. I got my... I got my Canary. Is it Basalt Monolith? This pack's actually really good. God, I like Filled Mystic, too. I kind of just want to be the... I really want to be the blue-green counter deck. But we already have Tinker. I think we just take the Basalt Monolith, right? Yeah, that seems good. I'm also trying to pick up a Beta Basalt Monolith, so if anyone has one that they want to part with, definitely reach out to me at frank at franklepore.com. Looking for a, like a lightly played to moderately played plus. Um, Talisman seems fine. Is Channel in this cube, do we know? I 
I mean, Tal Talisman works both for Urza and for Tinker, so we're, we're kind of like... Oh, Tezzeret the Seeker. I mean, Lotus Petal is great and all, but Tezzeret's a, a win con. And we got a Basalt Monolith already. Dude, when Black Lotus was like 100 bucks, like it's... There's, there's like three things. Three things. That I regret. One is not going harder on Alpha and Beta Magic cards. When I had the opportunity, but I had literally no idea. And I, I try not to beat myself up about it because I'm just like, I didn't know. Um, not buying and holding on to more Bitcoin and not buying like Google stock. Those are like the three things in my lifetime that I'm like, boy, I really missed the boat here. I like fire ice. I also like negate and like, there's really no reason to be mono blue. Like it's very easy to, I think it's fire ice here. I think it's just more versatile than, than negate. Matthew, I owe you an apology. Metal worker came back. That is quite surprising. Not surprising. Excuse me. Okay, so we're at this... There's this weird fucking thing Magic Online does. There it goes. Okay, so sort back for me. Oh, there you go. You're going over here on the two drops. Metalworker Risen Vintage Cube? I don't... I, I, that's not been my experience, interestingly enough. trick by oh let's take the forge master <laughs> actually so let's take do we take sahili here yeah let's take sahili making a bunch of artifacts for urza and tezzeret and and and, and tinker seems real good you're either in the deck or you're not um just think a five five mm, sure I'll take Academy Ruins. Why not? Oh, Curator Mysteries came back. This is actually a fine card. We have no lands, though, so I'm not really into Crucible. Should have went to the bathroom after our first draft, but here we are. So. Oh, I like a time warp. Um, don't care about gateway. Ethereum horn sorcerer is kind of cool because it is an artifact. But I don't think those are better than time warp. I think time warp is the is the ticket here. Plus, if there's any card, if there's any combo with like liquid metal coating, I'm sure we can get a liquid metal coating table. Matthew, so what do you what do you have for your Azoria slots? Mine are, as you have seen, I have soul herder which is kind of like for the like a blue white like i don't know if i like soul herder maybe i'll take soul herder out it was something i wanted to try but i don't know tefri time raveler tefri hero fractured identity yorion and dream trawler okay so i have dream trawler where you have geist of saint draft sundering titan oh god karanos is so good dude Oh, you say you have one more spot. I'm also of the belief that like you don't have to be even with all of the two color combinations. Like I have nine Demir cards and six Azorius. Eight Golgari, five Simic, like. Sunny Sun over Karanos? Interesting. 
Yeah, I, mean, I guess we can just be mono blue. Cool. Consecrated Sphinx. Friggin' banging. E easy game, easy life. I mean, I just want a Blightsteel Colossus and a Mere Battle Sphere. Is that too much to ask for? I don't think so, but, you know, maybe. So I don't think we're either Flux Reservoiring. <laughs> I do like Ancestral Vision, though. It does trigger Sahili as well. I think opposition with Sahili is cute, but we also have, like, nothing else that's actually going to make that work. I think it's just Ancestral Vision. It's just a solid zero. Ooh, Coercive Portal's nice. Here's a Brain Freeze. Yeah, I'm going to take the Coercive Portal. We are going to draw a lot of cards here. Thirst for Knowledge. How many cards are we drawing is the question. I also like Venser and I like Everflowing Chalice. Not a huge Master of Ethereum fan, but... Like, we already have... We have Coercive Portal, Consecrated Sphinx, Impulse, Ancestral Vision... I think I'd rather have Everflowing Chalice than Thirst here. I don't know if I love Defense Grid. We already have Flash Freeze and Impulse. Oh, what up, Dans? I heard you were recording a score. Oh, this is like one of my favorite Ugans, actually. Within the top five cards of your library, you can reveal an artifact, put them on the battle into your hand, put the rest on the bottom. Eh. That just seems like a worse Tezzeret. I'm going to take the Ugin. I think this Ugin is great. This is one of my favorite Planeswalkers, and I actually have it in my queue as well. See, now I can take the Disallow and not mind. Because, of the, like, yeah, you know, Defense Grid would have prevented us from doing that. I brought the Ugin vibes. You did. You did. Dance, are you and Matt in the same place? Or are you guys in your respective homes? Blinking Urza each turn is pretty sweet. Um, that's pretty much it. Let's just take Mass Manipulation. I don't, I don't really want to splash red for this guy. Plus, like, if we have a bunch of artifact mana, this is pretty good. I think we're just going to be mono blue here. Deadeye Navigator. Sure, I'll take a Deadeye Navigator. They are in each other's homes. <laughs> are you guys in each other's homes? Oh, boy. Well, then. Emrakul would be cool if it was an artifact. Field of the Dead, probably not getting there. We'll just take Search. All right, I'll just take Aether Flux Reservoir for the heck of it, I guess. Found out the stream delay goes away if I switch from the Twitch app to the website. Interesting. Matthew, well, share share your cube with me. I hope you have it uploaded somewhere. I want to see what you have because, like, for me right now, I still need, um, like one, two, three, five black cards, three red cards, three green cards. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And, like, two artifacts. So I think I have, like, 13 extra slots. Oh. I think Master of Ethereum is perfectly fine here. Yeah, Oblivion Stone's not terrible. Emrakul, huh? Wow, that's a big lady. Who, who's that big lady? I think we're taking Tretrical. Tretrical <laughs> is Emery. Emery and... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh god, you're watching his you're watching his mind deteriorate as it happens in real time. Treachical. Oh god. I'll just take treachery. Dear Jesus. God, worm coil, torrential, time spiral. Actually worm coil, this could be a good worm coil deck, right? We have disallow, impulse, flash freeze. That's pretty much it. Treachical was my nickname in high school, man. Got a lot of old Tretrical there. I think it's Wormcoil. I don't know if we're a Time Spiral deck, though. We're not, like, netting any mana here. 
yeah, we have Metal Worker. I guess both of these are Metal Worker. I'm, we're just going to take Worm Coil and hope that the Torrential Gear Hulk comes back. Yeah, did you like that? That was my impression of Moochel. <laughs> Good one, right, guys? <laughs> Manifold Key actually nets us a ton of mana. But is it actually just Agent of Treachery here? I got a Cube Cobra, but it's out of date. Updating it now. I had actually, a, I spent like three hours updating my Cube Cobra list. And it was very, it was actually pretty satisfying. Yeah, I'm taking Agent here. Ooh, I like a Karn. I like a Chromatic Lantern. Miscalc, Factor Fiction. This is actually a pretty good pack. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I think it's Karn. We, we actually don't have a ton of four drops, but like... This actually makes threats Lodestone Golem or Riftwing Cloudscape. Ooh. Interesting. Dan's I already carned it up. It's too late. It's already done. Yeah, all right. I'll take Lodestone Golem. This is 27 cards. Oh, good gravy. I didn't realize we had this many. Let's take Mass Manips out. Eh, we can take this out if we're not using it. I don't I don't care about search. I think it is actually sad robot. Search is Meg. <laughs> Shut up, Meg. <laughs> Dance, is there a good gravy command? Is affinity here? Would affinity have a good gravy command? Affinity's gonna be like on it. Hold on. Oh, batter skull, but also mold drifter, but also sigh. Let's get, let's take sigh. Eh, tangle art is kind of meh. I'll take it though. It's an artifact. So what are we cutting here? We need three cuts still. Jeez. Maybe we do cut Disallow. Maybe we cut, like, Curator of Mysteries, because that guy's kind of meh. Kind of meg. Wow, the Emrakul came back? I'm just taking the Emrakul. So no one else can have it. And maybe we can reveal, like, six artifacts. Curator is meg. So many megs, man. Pouring one out for the Ding Dong clip. <laughs> that was a good one. Wasn't that where I, like, read something out loud and it said I'm a Ding Dong? Torrential Gear Hulk did come back. Man. Do I want Lightning Greaves? Like, putting a Lightning Greaves on a Sundering Titan just seems better. I don't think Gear Hulk's great. I think it is either Jar. I think I like Greaves. I just want more cheap things. Plus, it's a two-mana artifact that we can tinker with, uh, which I think is, is kind of important. Manifold key. Being able to untap Metalworker or Basalt Monolith seems good. God, what are we cutting here? We need three cuts still. Maybe Sahili's too cute. Blue Sun Zenith. Sure. Well, I'm sad I didn't get Blightsteel, but I think this is still good. Okay. So I forgot to unpause it when we got right. I just went to the bathroom and I came back, but we cut um, Agent of Treachery because we might not have a way to blink it. And we also cut uh, nothing else to just add our lands. Is Manifold Key too cute? Yeah, I don't actually give a sh See, the only thing I like about Master of Ethereum is that like it makes the Psy tokens 2-2s. Two it makes the, the Sahili tokens 2-2s. Two 
And it makes the Karn Golems an additional plus one, plus one, which is kind of nice. Oh, Kerwit's got to go to bed? It's not even midnight, Kerwit. Unbelievable. Do we cut Flash Freeze and board it in? Like, I feel like it's our only instant that's like we're keeping it up for. Maybe I just play 41. I'm just playing 41 here. Yeah, let's do this. It's also got a lot of powerful stuff. Mass Minute, Blue Sun Zenith, Agent, Dead Eye Navigator. We have Disallow and Flash Freeze in the sideboard. Guys, I need a haircut so bad. Like, it's so long right here. Look how long this is. Usually this is, like, almost shaved. Oh, man, one day. Uh, I think we keep this just because of impulse. Uh, see, my only concern with siding in Deadeye and Agent and taking all the things is that the draw three cards a turn is not a May ability. So you can literally deck yourself very, very quickly. Usually in like three turns. This is actually pretty good. This into this into this. Suspended old cloudy boy. Actually, I might just play Course of Portal next turn, but we're missing a lot of Sahili equity, unfortunately. <laughs> more like dead ass navigator. Is it more like that? Real mature, buddy. Real mature. Well, now we're just going to run out of Sahili. This is nice that it's a mountain forest. Oh, now we can go mountain forest island. Assuming we hit like something tinkerable hmm so we can Karn plus Karn make a guy I think we're doing that we got a counter spell oh wow they're countering it mana drain wow fuck me I guess yep bounce the Healy Bounce the servo attack Sahili. Sure. You got it. Well, enjoy your four extra mana. At this point, do you even miss I, I I never enjoyed paper magic as much as digital magic. I just think it's way more convenient. It's way less exhausting. Um, do you think Hooters will recover after Co? I think they're doing fine right now. I'm I'm more concerned with Sweet Tomatoes, which is gone forever now, unfortunately. God, I can't believe it's like Sweet Tomatoes just doesn't exist because of the pandemic. It's actually super discouraging. Sweet Tomatoes is legit one of my favorite restaurants, otherwise known as Soup Plantation on the West Coast, I believe. Sweet tomatoes, the male Hooters. It was. It was the male Hooters. Yeah. That. Uh, that's what it was. Did they just not do anything with their thing? With their, they just did they not cast anything with their mana drain mana? Because that's pretty bad.
Yeah, they just use Mana Drain as Counterspell. Yeah, all right. So we know they don't have a counter, otherwise they would have countered Course of Portal. So unless they drew it this turn. All right. Well, we'll just hit Tinker off the top, I think. Kind of like Time Warp there. I wish I had one more mana to impulse here, but unfortunately, I do not. But we do get to draw two more cards. So that's pretty cool. Oh, Ugin's really good. Um. God, remember creature taxi from Planeswalker, you control each dragon you control. Oh, so we could just get rid of this with Ugin and attack the Sarkon, but then we lose Ugin. But I guess we keep Sahili. So that's interesting. Dance with 106 bits. Oh my god. I'm happy there's a party in chat right now. I feel like I was the only one talking that first draft. Yeah, well things are Things are getting, people are getting, people are shuffling in, you know? Man, it's funny. If I could have saved the one mana from last turn and the one mana from this turn, I could impulse and make another guy. But they only have one creature here, so that's okay. I've lived in New York my whole life and never had sweet tomatoes. It was a salad bar restaurant. They had a salad bar and they had a bunch of different soups and uh, like little bread creations, like like little pizza breads or little breadsticks and muffins and things. Um it was like a good, cleaner Golden Corral that didn't have meat. So can't use this, can't use this. We are going to lose our Ugin, but that's okay. That's life. I am dead inside. That's cool. They just get to kill both my Planeswalkers and all my tokens. What a cool spell. I mean, I hope they can't deal with Worm Coil. If we hit a land, we can go Impulse Worm Coil. I still think we're fine. Like, unless they can deal with Course of Portal, I think we're doing fine here. They keep naming Carnage. <laughs> um, hmm. This guy. Well, we know they drew that last turn, so... Really? You drew a fucking counterspell in, like, the one turn you had to draw it? Holy fucking bulls. Cool. <laughs> I mean, we're still fine. We're still fine. Just don't worry. Still doing fine. Just obnoxious. Tell me I can't cut Dragonlord Solemngar. I still have Dragonlord Solemngar in my cube as well. As you know. Ooh, tormenting voice, discarding phantasmal image. Fascinating. <laughs> so they just played ancient ancient tomb. So one, two, three. I don't I'm not in the business of putting worm coil up there yet. Eight. I think Sundering Titan's probably fine, right? I mean, they can't counter everything, right? <laughs> right? Oh, boy, we're doing it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Done. 
Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Get busy sundering. If they kill this thing, we'd lose one island. Okay. And they literally can't kill it until... Okay. Sundering Titan. Sundering Titan. You're a big man. Coming down to do the business as much as you can. It's gonna submit like this. We saw like three cards. We saw like Sarkon, Riftwing, Cloudskate, and like a couple of counter spells. Are you gonna do a step with all the cards again? <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you, Dan's? Guys, can I tell you something? I really want to go back to Disney. I had such a good time on that trip. Like I just loved like all of us like finding um like transportation at the end of the night and then like finding a way to get back to the, the airbnb and picking a restaurant and like waiting like an hour and a half because it's orlando like all that shit it's like so funny but like that's like the annoying part but it's also like really fun when you're like doing it with friends and i don't know man it was super cool hopefully we can do that again this year I just realized this is the teamer cube, not the legacy cube. Why is everybody teamer? Why is everybody red, green, and blue? Maybe you cast an artifact spell. Artifact? Sure. Well, they can miscalculate us, but they can't take our freedom. You have to take a Xanax or something so go on rides with us. I would definitely like to stay longer. I, I, I didn't go to the cantina last time, and I'd love to go to the cantina this time. All right. Are they just going to get double blue so they can... So they can brazen bar? Brazy B? Oh, you think Elkters would choose Voldemort? My first wand was a Snape wand. Interesting. Hmm. So we can play Psy and then play Ancestral Vision and then they bounce Psy again. Or we can just play Solemn and then if they bounce Solemn, that's fine. Because <laughs> we got a land out of it. Royal Scions. They just bounced an island? Joke's on you, buddy. I don't even have a land. time warp here but i don't think that's great i, mean, I think it's just course of portal ancestral like if we're going to time warp i'd rather have course of portal down you have to start calling what you need maybe that's true what do they get back wooded foothills sure Boy, they're really having a having a having a day with these planeswalkers. So we're dead on board. 
we're definitely going to choose Carnage to see if they accidentally choose Carnage. If they didn't, they let me draw. That's unfortunate. Okay, that's a big dude. If they counter this, they can counter anything. Okay. Well, they did not. So I can't get this off the board, but I can get this off the board, so that does feel better. Unfortunately, that guy's not coming down for quite a while. Still gonna name Carnage here. They have a bit more going on. Well, we could have gotten that off the board if we'd known. Hmm. I think we just have to go Consecrated Sphinx here, otherwise we die to the Royal Scions. I mean, I hope they don't have an answer for Consecrated Sphinx, I guess. Thank you! Oh, Dan's with the gifted sub. Dan's, you're so supportive. I really appreciate you, Dan's. Sure. Let's see if they play correctly. They 100% will. Just use this to kill a Consecrated Sphinx straight up and then kill us. Cool. Three, four, five, six, seven. Mm, must be nice. I kind of like flash freeze here. They have a lot of a lot more planeswalkers than it originally looked like. Let's take a master of Ethereum. Dun, 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 dun. we submitted i guess we did not this hand seems great if we can hit one more land turn three lodestone seems pretty good can anyone really be too supportive <laughs> wow what does that even mean is matthew getting is matthew getting jealous Jealous of the support? That seems unbelievable. That seems far-fetched. Like the Pokemon? Yes. Sure. We're just going to slam a Lodestone Golem next turn. Unfortunately, I never want to cast Psy before, like, course of portal or Lodestone Golem. Oh, CTB, I ain't no mucho bucks, cake, key, bucks, keycap, keycap. What's happening right now? <laughs> CTB, thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Even though I had no idea what was happening at the end of that message. It turned it turned from KE into a Kappa. What the fuck was that? That's what I'm asking, man. I don't even know what happened.
Are they going to ancient grudge this guy? Oh, they're just tormenting voice for three. Yeah, we're just going to play Chorus of Portal here. And kill the Rennie boy. So they should have one land, right? Unfortunately, it's a Temple of Abandon, which means they don't even get to play a three mana card here. They just get to play a two mana card, unless they drew another land. I think it was a Eek. A Eek. Sorry, Caps. Zarakaz, Zara that is uh, it's not ideal. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened there. Farfetch was the one chewing on the celery. I think it was a leak. Oh, okay, it's all making sense now. Okay. Shut up and take I think my it money. was a leak, actually. Is a mutual kick. <laughs> I is a mutual kick. What's even happening right now? Oh god, we've 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 ventured into the surreal comedy world of Okay, so actually, if we just play Basalt Everflowing Chalice here, we just get to land one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we go one, two. Oh, this is going to cost three anyway, though, so I'm not really into that. I mean, I don't think they can really stop, uh, they can't really stop our things, I don't think. So if we go, let's let's see, let's see, one, two, we play Chalice for one, we play one, two, three for Basalt Mono, it lets us keep this up, we only have one, two, three, four, five, six mana next turn. Whereas, I think, if we go Chalice for two, and then play this, I do think it's safer like they're gonna get one turn to play a four drop so and that's if they have another land but then we get to go sundering titan and kill three of their lands i'm no expert but that seems good especially with lodestone golem out he always says he's no expert but then he's an expert Yep, this is all fine. I get to kill one of these two and then also play Sundering Titan. Okay, quit bragging. Uh, now we cannot take them off blue, but we can take them off red. I'm just gonna mill me. Well, this guy draws you a card. This guy mill. This guy loots. So we're definitely going after the Jace. It's also five loyalty versus two loyalty. Homage. Oh, they voted for I can never tell if they vote for Carnage because of like memes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can actually we don't have to tap the basalt monolith, which is pretty comical. Attack Jace. They can't even force of they can't even actually counterspell anything because of the lodestone golem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sundarino. Uh, your move. We could have played Basalt Model instead and kept up Flash Freeze, but... I don't know. I think we're probably doing fine here. And let's go to round two. No? I admire your, your moxie. This is, yeah, they're, they're holding on. I mean, we have time warps that are basically, they're just, they're just actually dead on board. Homage. 
I'm not going to meme and vote Carnage here. He's like, oh no, they're attacking my face. Do it again, that's the game, our deck is cool. I don't know, Moxie was in this cube. Yeah, Moxie's in this cube. You don't know anything. Do, do, do. I literally paused at like the exact second that the opponent was found. Oh yeah, like this hand. We do need one land, but that's okay. We get, we got it. This is a sweet five, four, five, six hand here. Okay, me too, buddy. Me too. pretty good that is pretty 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 good I mean my hope is that they just play a big fat creature that's really cool and then I, and then I just get to steal it and then I get to untap and play Karn is that too much to ask fucking god Jesus yeah. Yeah. Let's say Carnage. If they accidentally click. Actually, I mean we lose this versus this and this versus this. So I don't I mean like not being able to get rid of Karanos is pretty good for them. The problem is going to negative two with Karn means uh, that he just dies to a Karanos trigger. So we're going to plus one here. And then we're going to play Big Worm. Would they give me instead of Solemn Simulacrum? Sure. I mean, we both have, like, card that's hard to deal with. They just get to kill Karn. Okay, that's pretty good. Must be, as the kids say. Nope, don't have the red. They have two cards in hand. I guess that's fine. Did they? Huh. Would they exile mountain? Sure, we'll homage here. Oh, they exiled ionize. Got it. Don't know why it's over there, but you know, what can you do? So we can actually play Ugin, get rid of Chandra, hope it survives a turn. We can also just play Warm Coil Engine. Let me 
and something's gonna be countered. I'm sure they have two cards in hand, so yep, never fails. <sighs> Island, you got it. <laughs> I mean, that's actually pretty good if they tap out for this. That's actually quite insane. I guess it takes six, I guess. Can we treachery this? What happens? This this this, this, this stops becoming a creature, though, right? So. Homage. Yeah, that's what I figured. Um, treachery you. One, two, three, four, five. Um, f let's just time warp ourself. One, two, three, four, five. Draw a card. Shoot. Shandy. Go to the next turn. Oh, we just win the game. <laughs> That's pretty good. I mean, we get to go this. We get to go attack and shoot. Ugin, make a guy, or we could just Sundering Titan kill two of their lands. Well, that was fun. Definitely bringing in Flash Freeze and Disallow. They seem like they have very strong cards. I don't think we care about Sahili or Master that much. It's got Manifold Key as well, I think. Maybe, eh. I'm bringing Agent, actually. Agent seems like it could be very good here. Yeah, that seems fine. That seems fine, it does. Yeah, keep this hand. It's a little slow, but... I mean, we can go, actually, maybe we can go Basalt Monolith into Tezzeret into Worm Coil. One, two, three, four, if we, if we, maybe, hmm, I don't, hmm, no, I think we're going to be like one shy if we do that. Okay, I like that. I might just play Psy here. Actually, it depends on if we hit a land, actually. Yeah, no more Edric. There, there hasn't been Edric in a while. You kind of my Basalt Monolith? Nah, you didn't. Yeah, so we can go 3, 4, 5, untap the Basalt Monolith. Really? You didn't miscalculate that? That seems... That seems weird. Actually... Kind of surprised they didn't miscalculate that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm still surprised they cycled it, though. Like, if their plan was to get rid of that, then it's like, but why? Okay, you're just going to counter this and then bounce a land? Sure. Oh boy, that's Karanos. When's this guy coming down? Two turns, next turn, turn after that. Some turn, left turn, right turn. All right, let's see what you're hitting. Oh, Mystical Dispute, that's nice. That's real nice. Hey, look, I'm a mono blue deck. That's good. <laughs> 
Okie dokie, we're having a good time. Wow, that leaves us unable to do anything. That's really obnoxious. Sure. So we know two of their four cards. Yep, you got it. I assume you're going to play that. Yep, and you did. Yep, don't care about that. Hmm. Well, this is fascinating. So whenever we play, they're going to Mystical Dispute. I mean, I'd rather just get rid of this, because I think all the other cards are a little bit stronger. Sure. Oh, Banefire. So we're just dead, right? Because they five, six, seven? Okay. Six, seven, eight. Sure, you got it. Congratulations. Uh... And remember that time we had uh, Tinker in our deck? <laughs> Me too. Let me top deck either a Mana Source or a Ancestral Vision. Watch, I'm going to top to get Tinker with nothing to use. Now we can top to get Tinker, but we'll probably get it countered. By old Chili Willy. God, everybody has Riffling Cloudscape every single game. It's pretty wild. I mean, we're just running it into whatever counterspell they have, right? That's pretty rough. Maybe just keep up Disallow. The problem is we don't have enough lands to, to win this battle. So. Like, we're not a control deck. We're a tap out deck. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> You're going to braid my, my Greaves. I don't have any Greaves with that. Yep. I mean, this has to be worth it, even though they're going to Mystic Confluence. Oh, no, it just resolves. Okay. They don't have any green sources, though, so that's okay. Even if they bounce this, like, we can replace something. Oh, 
good times. Wow, never don't have anything, huh? Seems good. Good times. Riffling Clouds. <laughs> Ancient Grudge, a braid, Riffling Cloud Skate, Phantasmal Image copying, Riffling Cloud Skate, Nine Eyes. Seems fantastic. Meanwhile, I can't get a fucking two drop to save my life that isn't a Lightning Greaves. So that's cool. <laughs> General Greaves. See, that's funny. Uh, so what do we take? One, two, three, four, five, six. Take eight damage next turn, huh? That's pretty good. I'm sure they have nothing. They, I'm sure they have nothing actually. So that's pretty cool. Okay, fantastic. You're very good at this game. Fucking amazing. I drew lots of counter spells and ways to destroy your permanents that cost two mana. Okay. Well, congratulations. You know what? Sure. It's got lands. It's got a couple things. We're on the play. Sounds good. Let me see one of those beautiful two drops. Okay. Five drop is also fine, I guess. Thank you. I mean, I'm pretty sure we can go Monolith into turn five, turn four, Tezzeret Lodestone, which seems good. Oh, Lycos, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Doom, 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 doom. My my biggest issue with this format is because it's teamer. You almost feel like you ha you're facing off against counter spells in every single deck, and almost every single deck is kind of encouraged to run them. So it's never really like, <laughs> for fuck's sake, dude. It's never really safe. Yeah, I mean, the same can be said about the Grixis and the Sultai Cube. That's true. But there was no Sultai Cube, right? The problem with playing him right now is that we also we, we can't cast either of these next turn or this. So we're stuck casting Monolith. But it does prevent a bunch of attacks. So maybe that's fine. I mean, if they end up getting rid of this, then we can Treachery untap. Play Monolith. Play Tezzeret untap Monolith. I mean, the only other three-color cube I know about is Grixis. I'm not sure there's been other three-color cubes. But, I mean, I, I enjoyed the Grixis cube, and I think this one's also fine. I do miss the other two colors, but what are you going to do? Thassa. Thassa with Venser. Good times. That's going to be fun. Oh, you're just bouncing a land. Okay. Interesting.
You got it. Yep, I will take six, and that's your turn, right? What do you bounce, the monolith? Bouncing the monolith seems fine. Yep, okay. Well, can't play anything here because of the uh the lodestone golem so so next turn if they even if they get rid of this we can go treachery steal play monolith play tezzeret untap is that good I mean, getting rid of the Venser is probably good. Okay, they have three cards in hand. Sure, this is probably going to end, end poorly. Oh, well, oh, now they're bouncing Lodestone Golem. Hmm. Interesting. This is just the counterspell cube, and it's really that's that's I think that's been the most fucking obnoxious part of it. Cool. So I'm dead on board. Three, four, five. Yeah, fucking amazing. This has been a fun game. Yeah, I, it's just like you're, everybody has counter spells. Like you literally just can't resolve shit. And if you don't have enough early plays, you're just not actually gonna get anywhere. So. Like, I've never faced off against every deck having counter spells, and it's kind of frustrating. Like, for, for even the Grixis cube, like, because there were black-red decks, and there were, like, um, even, like, the, like, there was just decks that didn't always have, maybe there's just more counter spells in this, in this cube, but, like, it's kind of obnoxious. What's worse, having everything you play get countered or playing against Mono Green Shroud with Pro Blue and Forest Walk? Huh. Well, I'm going to get rid of that because I'm not going to have a real turn to do that in the future. Next turn, we just play Warm Coil. Ideally, we hit Land Land so then we can go Treachery Time Warp. I mean, if they get rid of this, it's pretty bad. <laughs> you got it. Okay, that's actually pretty good. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is five. I think we actually just treachery this and worm coil. That seems good. Reclamation Sage. World of Rogue. Okay. Oh man, Trigon Proto having haste? What kind of world do you think we're living in? Give me a land this turn. That'd be amazing. Oh wow, this is oh I didn't know this was coming off this turn. Yeah, that's pretty good. Really? You don't just block here? That's weird. Oh, they just scoop. All right. <laughs> sure. I mean, we're going to play Sahili 
one, two, three, one, two. Actually, I might have just played Talisman Course of Portal. Um, I mean, we literally haven't drawn Metalworker once, so we're probably going to draw it this game. We haven't drawn Tinker or Metalworker once. <laughs> I want to take Sahili out, actually. I don't think she's that good. It's a lot harder on opponent gets to play their cards, yeah. That's how it goes. <laughs> there he is. There's your little buddy. I'll keep it. We can already ramp into treachery, so that's okay. Ramp into Tezzeret, untap Metalworker, reveal Master of Ethereum again, play treachery, untap our lands. Riffling Cloudscape. Coiling Oracle? Okay. And of course you hit a land. Very good. Two mana artifact or an island. Sounds good. Yeah, this is stupid. Like, we have so many two mana artifacts. Like, Talisman, Everflowing Chalice, Flash Freeze. Ancestral Vision. A lot of things to play before turn. Now they're just going to keep up Frilled Mystic and, like, doesn't doesn't matter what our third play is. Then they're going to have four power on board. They're going to keep another counter spell after that. Yeah, this is... Yep. Counter this guy with your... Crack your breeding... Crack your... Oh, you know, you got a breeding pool, so... You don't even have to crack anything. This guy's just going to get... Instantly countered. Yep. One, two, three... Frilled Mystic. Oh, it's Mystic Snake. Okay. Sure. Oh, there you go. You just mistapped. Got it. Got it. Oh, that's... It's fine, I guess. That's interesting. I guess they're just going to Venser on my turn. Or they can make a wolf and then Venser like, during my upkeep or something, which is probably better for them. I'm like predicting the worst-case scenarios here, so... I'm just going to play something. Yeah, just bounce my worker. That sounds... Fucking good. Chase the Mind Sculptor is a hell of a card. Yep. <laughs> Things have been better. Yep. Bounce it again. Just keep bouncing it. Bouncing it, bounce it forever. Yeah, you can just treachery the Jace next turn. Totally. Can't wait for that. Okay. What are the odds they have a two-mana counterspell? Is it 3,000%? Because that's my guess. Fucking amazing. <laughs> Fucking amazing. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cool. I'll go to one. This has been a fun match. All the matches that we've lost have been absolutely just super interactive and fun. Yeah. Good times.
Yep, cool, one life. What can we draw here? Oh yeah, Academy Ruins. That's actually what I was looking for. Oh yeah, let's just time warp. Got him. Oh yeah, Ugin. Fucking nailed it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time with uh, another draft from the Counterspell Cube.